Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food video just for you. I'm in the partly cloudy, partly sunny city of Vaughan, Ontario, Canada, because you guys, I asked the question as I throw my phone across the car, I asked the question, all right, subscribers and new viewers, time to let you choose what I eat next. And the three options were from Peter at Baton Rouge, Tanya, Kensington Market, and I don't even know how to say this person's name. And he wanted me to try the Carnesada at Chipotle. So we are here because you guys got 47%. With 1,200 votes, I'm gonna continue doing this because I want you guys to choose where I eat next, all right? So you guys can keep letting me know where you want me to eat, and uh, you guys can choose out of two or three, maybe even four options, but it's up to you guys. As you can see, I already got my burrito, and this is how that went. She put so much stuff into my burrito, another person had to come along and double wrap it in a soft tortilla. So let's get out our trusty steering wheel tray and start eating. So I did the, uh, the extra charge once again for the guac, because I have to have guac on it. Uh, here at Chipotle, it's $2.70 for the extra guac. The actual carne asada regular burrito uh, is $10 and 50 cents altogether. It was 1320, just a little bit more money than what I'm gonna be showing you next week. It's a surprise. All right, so let's get this burrito out. That, that's gotta be two, two and a half pounds. I love to weigh that. I should start, I should start weighing this stuff, man, cause that is crazy. I'm only gonna eat half of it today. I didn't grab napkins. What a tool. That took forever. I need napkins. Ran back inside and got me some napkins. Once again, I think it's gonna be a five napkin meal. Ugh. One of the things Chipotle doesn't do, and I guess if you ask them, they'll throw it on the grill for you, or, or on the like the little panini press thing. But uh, I was kinda, it's kinda interesting that they went straight from wrapping it to giving it to me. But I'm pretty sure I don't, I don't go to Chipotle a lot, so I'm not sure if that's their, their, uh, their MO. They normally do that or not. Wow, this is gonna be super messy. Like I said, I'm only gonna get half of this. I was gonna get them to cut it in half also, but they had so many problems trying to put all this food into one freaking soft tortilla. Oh, shnikey. Yeah, this is crazy big. All right, people, carne asada. If I say that right, I hope I do. But you guys will correct me, won't you? All right, check out that soft tortilla. It would definitely be better toasted, but too late. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. I went hot, but I also did the, uh, the tomato mix. I think that's their regular and then they have mild and hot, but uh, so far so good. It's a little chewy because of the extra tortilla. I'm not sure if you've ever had a double wrap tortilla before. This is interesting. Mm -hmm. I really want to get to that kind of sour. Part of me wishes that they kind of remade it with just a little bit less of some of the things you put in it. But uh, because the, the double wrap part is just a little overwhelming with the chewiness, chewiness of it. And, uh, but the carne asada is fantastic. This is lovely, it's like, it's got its own heartbeat, look. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. I'm afraid if I bite it, too much is just gonna goose out. So far, it's a thing of wonder, and I wonder how much more can I eat?
This is actually quite a nice treat because I usually always get either shrimp burritos or chicken burritos. Rarely ever get beef burritos. Let me know in the comments below what of those three things would you choose more over the other on, uh, let's say you ate it at a, a burrito place uh, at least once a week or whatever. What would be your number one go-to? Again, chicken, beef, or um, shrimp, because shrimp's my favorite. But I think this is a nice treat because you guys wanted me to do it. I love carne asada and uh, it's very tasty. Got a lot of meat in that bite. Mmm. Mmm. Very nicely cooked steak. Mmm. Yeah, I'm so glad you guys asked me to do this one. Check out all those lovely ingredients. Off the top of my head, I don't remember which things I didn't put on. I definitely know I didn't put salad on there or lettuce. And uh, she's like, oh, I could put that on there. I'm like, I don't think you could. And, and obviously they couldn't because the first time they tried to wrap it, it just, everything just started smushing out the bottom. Check this out. It's just falling out everywhere. Let's do another bite. The chunks of steak along with all the other stuff that I put on there. And that guacamole is just, oh, it is a perfect burrito. I'm definitely not gonna be able to eat all of this uh, burrito right now, uh, but I'd love to give all you guys who participated in that poll, who asked me to come here and try this amazing burrito, I'm gonna have to give you guys a one o'clock in the morning shout out bite just for you. Are you guys ready? And for the people at Chipotle who came up with this idea, you guys rock. Once again, this is for all the one o'clock in the morning people who love to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do it, but you do. This bite is for you. Oh, carne asada. Mm. Mm. Oh no. I can't stop at that one o'clock in the morning shout out bite. I have to do another one. Look at all that stuff right there. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two points for Ken. Did it go in? Yes, it did. Well, that was a fantastic burrito. All right, guys, on my rating scale, I'm gonna have to give Chipotle's carne asada their burrito a go out and get it now. It was fantastic. Like I said, I usually get chicken or shrimp. So I'm really glad that you guys kind of got me to try the steak because I might actually start to try that more often than the other two because I enjoyed it that much. Uh, definitely don't do, if they, if they offer you to double wrap your burrito, don't do it, it was really chewy. Uh, I didn't really like that part of it, but the rest of it was amazing. All the right toppings, all the right spices, and all the right flavors. I'd like to thank the 1,200 people who participated in that last poll to get me to come here and eat the carne asada burrito. Stay tuned for more future polls where you guys decide where I eat next. All right, guys, if you love these videos and you don't want to miss the next one, please hit that subscribe button. It sits right around here. Click the notification bell. But if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for 1,200 people, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic Food Review. Ken Domic out. Boop. Welcome back to another Ken Domic Food Video. Start again. I am in the overcast and sunny city. Is it, is it a city? Damn it. Of Vaughan, Ontario, Canada. <coughs> As you can see, I already got my ran back up. <clears throat> but I'd love to give you guys a one o'clock in the show. Once again, this is for all the one o'clock in the morning shout out people. No. I'd like to thank everybody for, I'd like to thank everybody I'd like to thank the 1,200 people who I'd like to thank the tw ah! <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.